How's it going everybody? Like I said before, I'm going to explain Black Prior's bulwark stance in a more detailed manner. The counter move associated with it is a completely new mechanic that warrants some exploration. I'm going to start off the video with more basic things about bulwark stance and then I'll go into more specific examples. As I mentioned in the frame check video, it takes 200 milliseconds to enter bulwark stance from neutral. You can move while sitting in it, forward movement is slightly faster than side or backwards. An important distinction here is that unlike the other full block types currently in the game, this one does not have superior block. Every attack that hits you puts you in block stun and your opponent's combos will not be stopped on a heavy block. Simply blocking attacks with it will also net you nothing, no punishes and not even frame advantage. This should already tell you that the uses for Bulwark are slightly different than what you might expect. One of the things that they didn't really mention during the reveal stream is the fact that you have some sort of quick flow into the stance, both after attacks as well as from normal blocks. If you pay close attention to how I enter the full block stance here, you'll notice that it's a very fluent and quick animation compared to entering it from neutral. And the same goes for blocks. Every time you block an attack, you get this short duration when you block every other attack as well that is thrown at you. During that time, you can enter bulwark stance seamlessly without ever losing the block frames. But to give a few examples why this is actually so important, let's go back to the quick flow from attacks. What this allows you is to go into bulwark after every attack, no matter where you are in your combo. This lets you create a pseudo infinite because you can always go into your unblockable. No need to throw a specific combo to reach it, you can seamlessly weave it into your combo. But it can also be used defensively. Deflects don't count as a block and will not put you into any sort of block stun. This means that you can flow into your bulwark stance and immediately use the counter. It will probably be pretty hard to do that on reaction, but we do know that audio cues let you react faster. So maybe we'll eventually have people that can successfully react to the deflect sound and pull this off consistently. Bulwark counter works against pretty much all of the deflects, with the exception of Berserker and Shinobi. Berserker should be pretty self-explanatory as it's a guard break, and Shinobi seem to interrupt the flow into Bulwark stance. Valkyrie's shoulder pin counts as a superior block, which means you cannot flow into bulwark from it. The same goes for all other superior block moves. If they catch you, you will be in block stun, which will not allow you to even get to your counter. Before we get to how to use the block quick flow, I want to explain the bulwark counter move a little further. There's one specific thing I need to address when it comes to reacting with it. If you're already sitting in bulwark stance, you can activate it within 100 milliseconds. If you're in neutral, it takes you 200 milliseconds to start the counter move. You've probably seen already that it can be used against all forms of attacks, unblockables and even bashes. But what is really important here is that it also works against all these things when the player is not even locked onto you. I've done multiple videos about external deflects, crushing counters, etc. And I've explained multiple times how you can't parry attacks that are not locked onto you. Bulwark counter does not care about any of these rules. If you can be hit by it, you can flip the guy. And one of the questions for all these crowd control moves is always, does it have damage reduction? First, what about the opponent? there is no damage reduction whatsoever. Your teammate can hit the guy for full damage. And second, what about yourself? And here's something new. You have a 100% damage reduction while you flip and while you cleave the guy on the ground. I think this clip just showed it nicely as the drop attack did absolutely nothing to crack. You can also flip multiple people, including drop attacks. Also pay attention to the attack afterwards, it is a 360 degree swipe all around the character and we never manage to not get hit by it. If you get flipped, you will take damage. Alright, but now to the quick flow from block. This lets you do some neat things. 
First of all, if you ever block a multi-hit zone, you can always just go into Bulwark Counter as the transition is seamless. No need to correctly time the parry. Another thing is dealing with 400 millisecond lights after heavy attacks. Most characters need to either hit a light or start their combo with a heavy to get into their 400 millisecond lights. Black Prior now has the additional option, much like Aramusha, to simply go for his counter move. Arguing about whether this can be done on reaction might take a while. In theory, it is not a choice reaction, but a single reaction, if you make the read that it will definitely be a light and not a heavy. If you want to make that distinction, that is. For others, it might just be complete prediction. My point is that it's an additional tool to deal with unreactable attacks. If you make an incorrect read, you might eat a guard break. It also messes with guaranteed bashes of attacks, like Nobushi's kick after a hidden stance heavy. You can simply block the heavy and then flip her if she throws the kick. In general, pretty much all bashes become reactable when sitting in bulwark stance. The activation for the counter is just 100 milliseconds, which means you can input it much later than a dodge. Shaolin's kick is a good example for that. And with that I want to wrap things up. I hope you now know why Bulwark stands out so much compared to the other All God moves. There are probably even more things that will be discovered over time, especially in regards to teamfights. Optimizing the punishes with the Bulwark counter for each character will take some time, so don't forget to share your findings with others. I'm glad that Ubisoft gives us new mechanics like this and I hope people appreciate it instead of instantly calling it OP. There are a lot of new things to learn, so let's all look forward to that. With that said, I hope the video was helpful. Thanks for watching. Laters everybody.